What's up everybody, Josh here again, and today we have an Icarus Week 39 update. This week they've added a ton of weapon attachments and some big news about mounts and dedicated servers. Let's get into it, shall we? Icarus Week 39 update. 25 new ranged weapon attachments added. We've added 25 new ranged weapon attachments in the game plus an update on dedicated servers and mounts. We've added 25 new ranged weapon attachments to round off the recent series of Alteration Bench additions. This completes the set of handheld, armor, and ranged weapon attachments, bringing the total amount of options to 71. Choose from basic attachments to provide universal buffs to your bows, crossbows, and firearms, or more specialized attachments such as an extended chamber or a prototype notch. Included below, we have an update on our two biggest upcoming features dedicated servers and mounts. We talk about our design intent behind mounts and how they will address movement, game speed, and more. Basic ranged attachments. 10 basic attachments have been added to the tier 3 alterations bench. They state these attachments provide basic improvements across bows, crossbows, and firearms. And these attachments affect stats only, but cosmetic elements are planned in the future. We have the basic scope, trajectory module, economic attachment, Silencer, nice. Flexible frame, strengthened strings, lightweight frame, hand cannon, sniper scope, and spread reduction module. And over on the advanced range attachments, range weapons will have 15 attachments options in the tier 4 alteration bench. As we said before, you'll have all the previous attachments in advanced form, with the exception of 5 new attachments. We have Rapid Fire, Prototype Notch, Extended Chamber, Hunting Scope, and Spread Increased Module. And you guessed it, Tier 3, we have a new addition to our Alteration Bench section, the Range Attachment Pack. Also in Tier 4, Advanced Alteration Bench has a new Advanced Range Weapon Attachment Pack. And of course, this unlocks the ability for you to craft the new weapon attachments and the alteration benches. In the new alteration bench, we're going to scroll down and go over all the 10 attachments for weapons. The basic scope attachment will give you 20 aim speed and plus 15% zoom while aiming. The advanced version will give you plus 50% aim speed and plus 30% zoom while aiming. Trajectory module will give you plus 15% arrow speed and the fired projectiles are highlighted. This is for bow and crossbow. And the advanced version will give you 50% arrow speed plus your highlighted projectiles. Strength and streams attachment will give you plus 10% arrow speed, negative 15% wear rate of items, negative 20% stamina consumed by actions, and plus 10% reload speed and can only be attached to the bow. The advanced version is plus 20 arrow speed, negative 30% wear rate of items, negative 40% stamina consumed by actions, and plus 20% reload speed. Silencer attachment will give you plus 20% stealth damage, negative 10% perceived threat. Can be added to pistols, rifles, and shotguns. The advanced silencer attachment will give you plus 40% stealth damage and give you an additional 30% perceived threat. The flexible frame attachment is negative 50% carry weight of firearms and plus 25% movement speed while aiming down sights. Can be added to pistol, rifle, and shotgun. The advanced version is negative 75% carry weight of firearms and plus 50% movement speed while aiming. Ergonomic attachment is negative 5% projectile break chance and negative 25 wear rate of items for bows and crossbows, negative 10% projectile break chance and negative 40% wear rate of items for the advanced version. Rapid fire attachment is plus 25 rate of fire, plus 25 reload speed, and plus 50% charge speed could be applied to a bow. The hand cannon attachment will give plus 40% projectile damage, plus 40% projectile damage, plus 25% critical damage, plus 25% damage to hardened points. Can be applied to a pistol, and it's plus 80% projectile damage, plus 40% critical damage, and plus 40% damage dealt to hardened points. 
on the advanced version. We also have the extended chamber attachment, adds two ammo capacity and plus 25% reload speed to pistols. And the lightweight frame attachment is plus 25% movement speed while aiming down sights and 25% reload speed on crossbows only. And the advanced version is plus 40% movement speed while aiming down sights and plus 40% reload speed on crossbows. Prototype notch attachment is plus 40% chance to fire an additional projectile, plus 25% projectile damage, and plus 25% damage dealt to hardened points can only be applied to crossbows. The sniper scope attachment is plus 30% zoom while aiming, plus 25% critical damage, and plus 25 damage dealt to hardened points. can only be applied to rifles. The advanced sniper scope attachment will give you plus 60% zoom while aiming, plus 35% critical damage, plus 35 damage dealt to hardened points, and can be only applied to the rifle. The hunting scope attachment will give you small creatures, medium creatures, and large creatures, are highlighted when aiming, plus 20% aim speed can only be applied to rifles. Barrel widening attachment is negative 40% accuracy with shotguns, plus 40% projectile damage, and negative 25% critical damage can only be applied to a shotgun. Narrow barrel attachment will increase your shotgun accuracy by 20% and plus 25% critical damage can only be applied to shotguns. And the advanced narrow barrel attachment will give you plus 40% accuracy with shotguns and and plus 25% critical damage, only shotguns. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys a few of these attachments that caught our eye. The first thing we're gonna show you is the advanced trajectory module attachment for the compound bow. This is the one that highlights projectiles and has a plus 50% arrow speed. As you can see, when you fire an arrow, it is now highlighted in the world. Seems like it flies pretty fast too. Next, we got the rapid fire attachment, and this should let you fire arrows pretty quick. And the last we'll play around with is an advanced scope attachment. We'll, we'll throw it on our bow just for crits and giggles. As you can see, whenever you right click and aim, it zooms in a little further. And this is the pistol with the scope. As you can see, unfortunately, there's not actually a scope on the pistol, but it does zoom in whenever you right click. So just so you know, old crafted weapons do not work. Unfortunately, you need to craft a new weapon if you crafted the weapon before the patch. In this patch, this is a brand new hunting rifle. As you can see, we could place an attachment on it. And we're gonna throw the advanced sniper scope on it. And once again, there is no scope on the gun, but when you zoom in, you get to see quite a bit further down the road. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the hunter scope attachment, which gives you the small, medium, and large creatures. And with the hunting scope attachment, you should be able to aim and see large, medium, and small animals. As you can see the highlight for that wolf underground, the wolf is underground and sees me, is aggro to me, but can't get to me. Jesus. And lastly, we have the silencer mod. Which, and lastly, we have the silencer mod. It has a silencer mod on it, right? Yeah, it does. It's not an actual, it's not an actual, uh, silencer. My god. All it does is removes threat. <laughs> Dude, I'm not even kidding you. That's all it does. Let's test it, shall we? For science. It just seems like the silencer just basically reduces your perceived threat from what I could tell guys. So basically the silencer is not actually a silencer. It's just a, it's a buff to the gun is all these are. They're all buffs to the gun. There's no visual effects or anything of that sort. You get to zoom in a little bit with the various scope types. And they did state that later on they're gonna put in visuals in the game. So we have that to look forward to, I guess. But the silencer is not quieter. It just, it is basically negative 30% perceived threat and some extra stealth damage.
So they do have an update on dedicated servers. The future content section of our weekly change log provides a sneak peek into the ongoing developments of features that we have not yet released but are actively working. One of these are the dedicated servers. They are moving steadily with many of their team working full-time on the development. They have completed work on the connection state, server settings, setup and customization options, and a few other things. They do plan on rolling out a dedicated server on a separate Steam branch for players to help test in the coming weeks. The testers will be able to provide them direct feedback on performance experience and gameplay. Then they go on to say that the outage that happened earlier this week was Microsoft's fault. Also, an update on taming and mounts. Mounts are very close to being released. As many of you have guessed by reading our change vlog feature content notes over the last few weeks, to get you prepared, we decided to give you some insight on the design process we've undertaken for this system and how it addresses some of the concerns you've raised in the past. Players have been petitioning for vehicles or some form of faster transportation in their forums, Discord, and feature upvote for a very, very, very very long time they go on to say about the feedback of the distance between mission and dropship and that they decrease that in sticks they go on to say that the taming and mount system is to provide a way to travel long distances faster they state that they have more details later, but it should be in the game soon. They also kind of state how they have to take their time, put it into their current system, and make it kind of feel natural and not tacked on. And guys, the change log this week, we're going to go over the most important things that we can find. Of course, in the new content section, they added all the attachment stuffs. Under what they fixed this week, they fixed a long time bug. When a client would initially pull out a building piece, the hologram would not appear until they swapped to an item or back again. Again. And finally, they removed the raccoon icon in their future content area. They talk a lot about tundras and all the stuff they've been talking about in the past few weeks, such as mounts, adding a little bit of extra things to the environments that they're adding, like the tundra, a large amount of additional assets on building a map. They mentioned a little bit of more things about mounts and audios for mounts, added an ice cool pack from the UE marketplace. Mentioned a little bit about the taming mechanics. Looks like they may be adding advanced leather and platinum weave items, making recipes as development, marking advanced electric and electric armor benches as development. So advanced and electric armor benches. Talking about the predator bird again, they added a juvenile buffalo. Taming sickness modifier is now added correctly when previous tame modifier expires. And they added some icons for the new hard leather armor pieces. And guys, that's it for this week. Don't forget, if you like what you see, to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Subscribing to the channel will give you weekly Icarus update videos and content. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> Honey, look at this. Look. Watch. Peace. Some kind of Icarus, da 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 da.